When we first started the trip, a lot of the the idea was built on the fact that we live in this highly digital world, uh, and most of the connections that we make, 99%, I feel like in my life, are all digital at this point, email and text and everything. And so we wanted to create a real connection, but it's only when it's actually happening do you really feel the value of the real connection from human being to human being. And even so much so that a person that I've known for a decade, like Ed, I still didn't know him until we sat down and actually tried to make that human connection. My family wasn't necessarily prepared for me to be like, hey, I want to be a musician. <laughs> Before I like decided like I'm going to drop out of school and you know, I talked to my mom about it, I blow my scholarship, I mean my entire life, and I had like literally a moment to think about it. My parents were very encouraging, so they'd always say that they're proud of their kids, but nothing ever came closer than them telling me that, like, hey, I'm proud of you with, you know, the music accomplishment. Every aspect of my life is related back to music. My wife, you know, uh, you, uh, everyone in this, in my house right now that came with you, you know, it's basically just my life's blood, you know. I never realized until I'm sitting in front of him that my connection to him is because we both have something internally that drives us towards music. We hit a nerve when we started talking about that. Um, and I was actually having an epiphany as well as we're listening and you're like, oh my gosh, every single human being in my life is tied to a specific song. And I think Ed really shined a light in on that early on for me. I have a deep connection to John because we all were coming up in Memphis together at the same time. Like we had so much in common and so much history together. We were realizing how our friendship actually, what it really is, not just like a almost business yeah. personal. It wasn't, it was more than that. I think it took me a little while to realize what an impact that being in a certain position could be, but anyone can do this in their life reach out and touch one person's life. I mean, that's what we're here for. It's all about love. It's a four-letter word. It could sting you, but at the same time, I mean, you can really, you can really touch people's lives, and that's what music does for people. When I was going through a really rough time in my life, and I had to go back home, because I'm originally from Little Rock, uh, I had to go back home to be with my family, and you know, you were a guy that called me up, and we went out and painted the town red, and that was something I really needed. I remember four or five years ago when I came home and called you, you said your dad had passed away and uh, you couldn't really come out. And I remember thinking to myself, <clears throat> how bad that was hurt. And uh, you know, I just lost my dad this year at the same time and I realized Oh, that's what he's going through. When you are friends with somebody because you both play music or that, you know, you have been in the same band together at some point or you played shows together or whatever, but when you uh, sit and listen to what really, you know, the nerve of somebody's story makes you realize that everybody's got a story. I don't have very many friends that have gone through things like that, but if that's a really valuable thing to me now that I know that I can, you know, I can identify with him and people like him, people like me. In this community of people that listen to this music, or the people that gather, I, there are people that are just like me.